All right, we are set to go. Here's the jump, tap, belongs to Munster. Stoyage picks it up, Munster in the road, reds. Munster in white on the front, white lettering, white numerals, trimmed in red, and the Mustangs going left to right on the radio dial here in the opening half of action. Luke Hackett to the baseline, gets cut off, finds his brother across the way, has to get it out to Slotman on the top. Pass knocked away and out of bounds by Anthony Murphy. It'll stay with Munster. You know, earlier here, Munster spreading the floor. They're playing four out, one in with 6-6 six, six Mandich in the post with the shooters all spaced around them. That is Schlotman to trigger the inbounds pass. And he threw it away. Back the other way are the Panthers to the bucket. Murphy can't get it to fall. Tapped away and it goes out of bounds. Tapped away by the Mustangs. It'll stay with the uh, with the uh, Panthers as Anthony Quintero will trigger the inbounds. Sideline right in front of us and brings it in to Murphy. Back to Quintero. It's on the left side of the floor to the middle and Hayden. Griffith now sets the offense. Harris pops out on top. Hayden on the left. Quintero, Anthony Murphy gives it up to Hayden. Hayden to the free throw line, steps back. There's nothing there. He's going to dump it off. Three ball on the way by Murphy off the front of the iron. That's no good. Good box out by the Mustangs, and it's picked up off the floor by Schlotman. Quickly the other way, and a whistle and a foul. Yeah, Luke Hackett stepped out of bounds on the sideline there. So that's what the call will be. It's a turnover against the Mustangs. No score a minute in. So here's Hayden on the dribble up. Quintero to the top and Anthony Murphy. Hayden on the right side on the wing. Passes for Harris, intercepted by Astoyic. Astoyic over Harris with the left hand, gets it. Two nothing Mustangs. Hayden working on Drew Hackett, gives it up. It's in the corner and Quintero. He brings it out to the top. Harris for three off the front of the iron. Long bound comes down to Schlotman. Quickly the other way for the Mustangs. His pass. Or he actually lost the handle on the dribble. Looking for Drew Hackett to try to make the cut from the right side. Here comes Griffith offensively. Spin move and we get a jump ball situation. That was a nice play by Schlotman there. He just reached in, to, reached in and grabbed a hold of the ball and got the jump ball instead of slapping at the ball like a lot of the kids do. Anthony Murphy trying to make that spin move, but he was tied up by Schlotman. Griffith to trigger the inbounds under their own basket. They're in the home whites. Panthers and numerals in black with black trip. Here's an entry pass. Knocked away and stolen by Schlotman. Drew Hackett tries to get it to Mandic. Up the floor. Good. That's two. That's four points off turnover so far for Munster. And it's a 4 0 Mustang lead. There's a three ball. Kelston Hayden. 4 3 the score. 5.50 to play first quarter. Ostoyich, Mandic, and Luke Hackett. Mandic on top, Drew Hackett on the left side. And here's a pass, and it's knocked away, intercepted, but taken back by Mandic to the bucket of Stoyich. It's blocked by Murphy. It's saved on the baseline. Well, no call there. There had to be a block or a charge, one or the other. Quintero ducked underneath him and took, made contact on the shot, and that set up the block. Murphy. Goes to his brother, Jamel. Three ball, no. It rolls around, put back Harris, no. Rebound, Schlotman. Drew Hackett, he's going to pull up for the jump on the right side, misses everything. Rebound to Griffith, five minutes to play in the quarter. 4-3 Mustangs. Anthony Murphy, inside. Harris, step back at it. That's a tough matchup for, Gr for Munster against Harris. Uh, to put Mandich on him, I think Harris is quicker. And that time, Ostoyich was on him. He's got a little size advantage on him. So it is now 5-4 Panthers, their first lead of the night. Ostoyich all the way to the basket with the left hand blocked again. That one by Trammell Murphy. Anthony Murphy on the dribble up on the right side. Inside to Trammell. Spin move to the bucket. He's fouled. Looks so far like Griffith really wants to put the ball inside and they may have an advantage in their size-wise and even speed. And on the other end, you've got Mandich inside with Munster spaced out there trying to play inside out. Both teams are playing inside out, and it's kind of fun to see this kind of basketball. 
Luke Hackett picks up the fouls first. Mel Murphy at the line to shoot two. He throws good. And it's now 6 4 Griffith. Another ball game for the Panthers. Number 20, Lawrence Mosley. Another senior. Yeah, I like Mosley. He's just a glue guy for Griffith. Does all the little things right. Second one. That's no good. Managed with the rebound. Schlotman pass. Knocked by Mosley, but it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Munster. Well, so far, Griffith's got their hands on a lot of passes. A lot of them probably got five or six deflections already, plus a couple steals. It's that length. They're a long team. Stoyich brings it into Schlotman in the backcourt. Gets away from Hayden into the front court on the left side. Pass. Knocked away. But the outlet pass too far for Hayden, and it goes out of bounds. Okay, Griffith came back and trapped the first pass there over half court, and then just the uh, the pass ahead to Hayden just threw it too far. 4-13 to play in the first. Full court pressure by Griffith now, and we're going to get a little foul. I think that's a hold on Hayden. Kelston Hayden, his first, team first. 6-4 Panthers. Here you see Griffith will probably want to speed this game up, while Munster will want to play a little bit more of a half-court style and get open looks. Pass comes in to Mandich, back to Stoyich. Back to Mandich, who will bring it across the half-court line. Get it in the corner. Luke Hackett, the brother Drew, out. Schlotman's got a good look from three. Banks it home. Yeah, that play was set up by that drift from corner to corner, from Hackett to Hackett, and then back to the top. You know, like I said, they moved the ball really well. Look at that open shot. Munster back in front, seven to six. Anthony Murphy for three. No. Rebound through Hackett. Brain gets around Harris into the front court. Gets it to brother Luke in the right corner. Drew gets it back. Drew. Double team. Needs some help. Gets it from a Stoyich out between the circles. Stoyich with the left hand drives, and we've got a whistle and a foul. Give me the second foul on Kelston Hayden, I think. Yeah, there's a Panther getting ready to come off the bench. And that is two on Kelston Hayden. Second team on the Panthers as well. Griffiths in a 2-3 on the side of bounds under their basket. Frank Escona into the game for Griffith. Three ball, no good. Mandich with the board all the way out at the free throw line. Drew Hackett has it knocked away from behind on the dribble drive. Up the floor. Panthers too far. Great hustle again. by Luke Hackett to chase that down. That looked like a layup for Griffith. Drew Hackett inside Mandich. It's knocked away from him. Here come the Panthers. Tramel Murphy. He's held by Astoyic and hits it. That's a tough call there. I thought Ostoyic had him out. He had him outside the paint and had two hands on him. It's almost a continuation yeah, NBA I, style just because yeah, he didn't dribble the ball again. So Murphy, Jamal Murphy gets the bucket, puts Griffith back in front, 8-7, third lead change of the quarter, and he'll Coach, go to the line to try Coach to... Coach Hackett's having a discussion play. with the officials about it. It's the first foul on Ostoyic and the second team on Munster. Well, I'm with you. That, that, that's a continuation type yeah, that's call That's a tough right call there. right there. And Murphy hits it. 9-7 Griffith. Drew Hackett to the bucket against Harris. Goes up. No. Some contact, but no call. They're really letting them play. There's been a lot of contacts at both ends. Anthony Murphy into Trammell. Back to Anthony on the right wing. Mosley on the top as Kona into the corner. Harris wants a three. Hits it. Three. Left corner three for Anthony Harris. Anthony Harris. That's a, that's a diversity that Anthony Harris has. He can play in the post. He can step out and hit threes. He's a tough matchup. He, he's the X factor for Griffith this year. He's the difference from last year. 12-7. Five-point advantage to the Panthers. Schlotman. Entry pass. Mandich. And he wasn't able to hang on. Goes out of bounds. Back to Griffith. Yeah, Mandich had position in that possession early. And then when he doubled down, it got deflected off of Mandy. He almost didn't pick that up early enough. That's Kona on the dribble. Gives it up. Murphy. Harris all the way at the top of the key. Inside Trammell. Murphy goes up. Got it. It's fouled by a switch. That's a great high-low. And that high-low is from Anthony Harris. Harris was at the top of the key and threw the high-low to the corner of the backboard for, for uh, 
Murphy to go get it. And it's two on a Stoyich. Three on Munster. From Mel Murphy to the line to try to complete another three-point play as Austin Island comes in for Munster. Stoyich will have a seat. Yeah, we talked about one of the keys of the game to keep Griffith out of these runs. That's a This is a 8-0 run, soon to be 9 if he knocks his free throw down. Panthers up 7 at the moment. Here's the toss. Make it 8. 15-7 Griffith. 2.04 to play in the opening quarter. Schlotman. Three ball on the way. That from Luke Hackett. No good. Rebound Harris. As Kona. Across the half court line. Munster just switched to a 2-3 zone. Harris. As Kona. Right side. Murphy. Harris got it back cutting the lane. Griffith brings it back out. Mosley has it at the top. Left side, Escona. Back to Mosley. To the left, and Anthony Murphy. Harris at the top. And we get sideline violation. It says Kona was, foot was on the sideline as he caught a pass. Griffith counters by bringing in Anthony Quintero, their three-point specialist. Figure if Munster's going to stay in that 2 3, put another shooter on the floor. Buck and a quarter to go in this first quarter. Eight point lead to the Panthers. Schlotman is pass, knocked away and out of bounds, but Griffith from the weak side is anticipating that entry pass and knocking it away over and over. Yeah, that was a tough angle there. That was a backdoor cut by Drew Hackett, and he almost got too deep to where they were going back towards the basket so the weak side can get in the way. Island off the inbound, misses the layup. Rebound Griffith. Anthony Murphy quickly the other way on the right side into the corner. Three. That's no good. Rebound Island. Schlotman across the half court line. One minute to play. Into the lane. Off the glass. Good. End to end bucket. Kevin Schlotman. That snaps the Griffith run. And it stops the 9 0 run. Still in the 2 3 for Munster. See if they try to run something to get Anthony Quintero a shot here with the screen on the weak side. Murphy has it on the right side. Quintero has it at the top. Back to Murphy on the right wing. Outside the arc. Mosley at the volleyball line. Harris, baseline jumper from the left side. Good. He's so tough. Just raises up from 15 feet and knocks it down on the baseline. And coming back into the ball game for Griffith is as Kona as Mosley will have a seat. 17-9 Panthers. So Harris has a three. He's got a post move. He's got a 15-footer showing his versatility. He has seven in this first quarter. Schlotten with the dribble. Gives it up to Island. Island with the left hand. Takes it from right to left. Gives up the dribble. Now he's in trouble. Needs help. Pass nearly intercepted to the basket. Shot no good. I think that got partially blocked again. That bandage trying to score it. Escona quickly the other way. Quintero for three. No. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Griffith 17, Munster 9. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network. You only gave it down. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW Crown Point and WRTK Paxton, Illinois. Sports in the region are about tradition, and since 1946, Barry Brothers in Hammond has built a tradition of quality and service. With a professionally trained sales staff, Barry Brothers offers a selection of quality American-made work boots, safety shoes, and apparel. Located on Indianapolis Boulevard, a half mile north of Interstate 94, Barry Brothers is devoted to providing exceptional service to ensure the satisfaction of every customer. Barry Brothers is open seven days a week, and gift certificates are available. The website is barrybros.com. McShane's Total Graphic Solutions puts your company name and logo on just about anything. We offer a full line of custom marketing products and services like custom imprinted mugs, pens, and magnets, quality employee apparel, with custom imprinting and embroidery, executive gifts, customer appreciation and gifts, and so much more. McShane staff can help you select the right items to help you achieve excellent results. McShane's 1-800-837-1400 or online at McShane's.com. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. Welcome back to the Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealer presentation of High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network on 90.5 The Key. It's underwritten by your Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers. 
the MVPs of MPG. Along with Tom Brank and Jerry Siska back with you here at Griffith High School. Munster basketball as we begin the second quarter with the Panthers leading the Mustangs 17 to 9. And that was a good first quarter by Griffith, Tom. Yeah, it really was. They forced some turnovers and they're really just getting in the way of Munster with deflecting some of these passes and making it a little tough for Munster to throw it in the post to manage too. Into the game to start the second quarter for the Mustangs. Connor Manis and Antoine Van Dyke. Drew Hackett on the dribble drive is cut off, so he's got to bring it back out to Island on the left side. So they're making Munster extend their defense right or offense right now too to about 23, 24 feet. Island dribble drive left of the free throw line, kick to the corner, three ball, and that is good by Drew Hackett. Yeah, he, they, Munster likes that corner three. They probably shoot a higher percentage from the corner than anywhere else on the floor. First field goal for Drew Hackett brings his club within five. Here's Murphy with it. Quintero. Escona. Munster still in the 2-3 zone. Quintero's on the right wing with it now. Quintero's got a good look from the right wing for three and hits it. Yep. Anthony Quintero, and it's 20-12. to Yell you know, Griffith also brought in uh, Terzariel. He's another shooter, the lefty. Use him to attack the zones also. Josh Tazariel, 6'3", senior. Drew Hackett tries to go to the bucket. We Ball knocked hacked. away. Griffith picks it up. Here comes Anthony Murphy on the right wing. Trailer is Quintero. Takes it to the free throw line. Gives it up to Tremel Murphy for three. No. Battle for the loose board. Island comes down with it. Almost lost it. Murphy behind him. Manis up the floor. Van Dyke. And Manis' three is blocked. Goes out of bounds, blocked by Anthony Murphy. And so far we talked about Griffith's control and emotion. They're playing with a lot of emotion and they're getting everywhere on the floor at the defensive end. Harris back in, Cesario out. Connor Manis didn't realize he had Murphy trailing from behind. And Mandich and Astoyich back into the game for Munster. So Mike Hackett choosing to bring Astoyich back in with two fouls at 619 of the second quarter. To Mandich comes the inbounds. Spin move over Murphy. No good. Knocked around. Astoyic comes up with it and hits the layup. Astoyic comes in and makes an impact right away. In the Bring right up a loose ball. In the right place at the right time. And it's yep. 20 to 14. One thing we know is Munster won't panic here tonight. He'll chip away. He's in the 2 3, trying to con just contain and stay out of those long runs. Escona to Quintero. Murphy and Murphy back to Anthony Murphy. Dribble drives up off to Tremel. He couldn't handle the pass. Went out of bounds and a turnover on the Panthers. It really, Munster really, by going to this 2-3, they're forcing Griffith to use a little bit of clock and, and make more passes and not just find one-on-one -on -one matchups that they really like. Tonight's game is underwritten in part by the Randall K. Miss Accounting Group in Cherville. When it comes to business, let Randall K. Miss Accounting put the numbers to work. Their phone number is 219-864-8541 and they are online at www.rkmissgroup.com that was a great pass by Connor Manis. He got into the paint and uh, dropped it off to Mandich. Mandich had to get fouled. He had a great position going up for an open layup. Frank S. Cota picks up the foul. His first team third to Mandich at the line to shoot two. First one is in and out. And Josh Cazario back in as Kamal Murphy will have a seat. Second one by Mandich, up and no good off the back of the iron. Rebound, Luke Hackett, he goes up, Cesario blocks. That's going to be a foul on Josh Cesario. Great effort by Luke Hackett there, and he went up strong too in the, in, in the trees. First on Cesario, fourth team on the Panthers, and Luke Hackett at the line shooting two now for the Mustangs. First one is good. He'll get one more. 20 to 15 now with 532 remaining in the first half. Second one is off the back of the iron. No good. That's three of the last four Mustangs have missed. Uh, yeah, that's unusual. They shoot 70% of the team. Pass by Ascona was off the foot of Drew Hackett. So with the kick, it goes back to Griffith. Like we talked earlier, this is usually a good shooting gym with the surroundings here, too. So I'm surprised they're missing free throws. 
Staying in the 2 3. He's doing a good job of matching up right now with shooters, too, Munster is. Murphy goes cross court. Quintero goes to the corner. Escota's three is no good. Drew Hackett gets the board. He's going to bring it up on the dribble on his own. And as he tries to go around Escona, Frank fouls him. That'll be his second, team fifth. That's an unnecessary foul there if you're dripping. Coach Hayes doesn't look happy about that, bumping a guy at 23 feet. Calston Hayden and his two fouls going to re-enter for Griffith. For Escona, who just committed that foul. So Munster basketball right in front of the Griffith bench is where they'll trigger the inbound. Comes to Drew Hackett inside. Mandich goes up. Got it. And he's fouled. Such a strong move by Mandich. He gave a little bit of a head and shoulder fake. Got one in the air. And the other Murphy was coming from behind looking for the block. And he didn't get there in time. And for Anthony Murphy, that's his first. Six now on Griffith in the first half as Mandich tries to complete the three-point play. Up and no good off the back of the iron. Well, those could come back to haunt you later. Quintero gets the rebound. Up the floor quickly. Tazario has it on the baseline, and we've got a whistle and a foul against the Mustangs. Nikola Mandich, his first. The Munster's got eight points in the quarter already with five, but 4.52 to go. They only had nine in the first quarter. Actually, they're going to call that on Connor Manis. His first. Team fourth as Tazario will have a seat. Tremel Murphy comes back into the game. Anthony Murphy. Hayden goes between the legs, brings it to the left side, gives it up to Quintero. Back to Hayden. Gets a screen from Anthony Murphy. I has nowhere to go, so he tries to go in. Gets it to Tremel Murphy, who splits the defenders and goes up and scores. A great entry pass by Kelson Hayden from the, from the free throw line extended. Nice bounce pass. Here's Luke Hackett on the dribble drive, knocked out of his hands by Quintero. And Griffith last to touch it. It'll stay with Munster. Mr. Goodies and Griffith is a proud underwriter of tonight's broadcast. Located at 1207 East Ridge Road, Mr. Goodies is open seven days a week. Pass comes in to Luke Hackett. Going to give it up to Connor Manis with the dribble. He's going to bring it to the right side. Now goes high post to Stoyich. Stoyich going to dribble drive, and he has it poked away. Anthony Murphy. Gives it up to Hayden, to Tramel Murphy, and we've got a whistle and a foul. Another foul being called against the Mustangs. Another steal in the half court by Griffith. And for Connor Manis, that'll be his second. I think what we're seeing so far, just the length and quickness of Griffith has given Munster some problems in the half court. Anthony Murphy has tapped a lot of balls free from the blind side as well. Yeah, we're not keeping deflections here, but uh, we were. I, I think you'd see pretty big number through 12 minutes so far. So now Murphy hits the first free throw. You know, Griffith, when they're at their best, they just disrupt you. That's what they try to do. Kevin Schlotman comes back into the game for the Mustangs. As Connor Manis has his seat. Second free throw from Murphy. Good. Jamel hits them both. Seven-point advantage to the Panthers. We're midway through quarter number two. Schlotman inside. Spin move blocked by Jamel Murphy. Stoyich got it that time. Hayden into the corner. Harris inside. Turnaround off the glass. Good. He was double teamed. Come over his right shoulder from the right block and used the glass. Nine point Great advantage move. to Griffith, the biggest of the night. It's 26 to 17. Here's a Stoich. Inside. Mandich good. Little baby hook with the left hand. Nicola Mandich. 26 19. Three and a half to play. Anthony Murphy to the glass. Got it. His first field goal of the night. Saw a little opening top. Went straight to the glass. Yeah, split the defense. The defense wasn't ready for him. I think they thought he was going to shoot the jumper. Instead, he split him and got to the rim. Bandage who's outside the arc now. Goes to Luke Hackett to Drew. Drew trying to work his way in. Kantz is going to give it up to Schlotman, who puts up a right wing three. No good. Rebound to the Panthers, and they come running. Harris with it. Gives it up to Hayden as Griffith slows things down. Just under three minutes left in the first half. 28 to 19. Favor of the Panthers. Quintero. Murphy. Hayden. Sits at the top. 
Gets around Drew Hackett, bounce past the Harris. Mandich got enough of a hand on it that Harris couldn't get a shot off, and then Harris lost it as it was picked up by Luke Hackett. Turnover Griffith, here comes Munster. That was a nice play by Luke Hackett to anticipate. Cut against the 2-3. Luke Hackett has it in the right corner, gives it up to Estoyich, underneath Mandich, spin move, and a foul, and that's going to be two. Well, that's Kamel Murphy, excuse me, so that'll be his first. The second quarter, we're seeing Munster really look inside for Mandich a little bit. He's got five in the quarter, and he's going to the line for two. I think he missed two free throws earlier in the quarter. He did. I forgot to mark the last one that he hit. So he's definitely been more of a factor this quarter. No good. That was a one in the bonus. Yeah, that was the front end. Those are the ones that hurt. It's like going 0 for 2. And Hayden brings it into the front court as we approach two minutes in the quarter. Quintero, right wing three. Can't leave him open on that right side. He loves the right side. Got it, and it's 31 to 19. It's a 12-point advantage to Griffith. Manich inside. Nice spin move gets the basket. Great move by the big guy. Around Harris. Here comes Griffith. Inside, Tramel Murphy. Up, good. Jamel Murphy answers. It's 33-21. Island. Drew Hackett into the lane. Reverse layup good. Nice move by Drew Hackett there. Get to the left side of the rim and reverse with Murphy trying to block it. That was a great use of body control. Ten-point lead to Griffith. They look like they're willing to slow things down just a little here, Tom. Yeah, Munster just switched to man to man for the first time in a while. Murphy Hayden almost didn't got see a that. turnover. Yeah, he, Hayden didn't see that pass coming. Quick reflexes and reaction allowed him to I'm save not that sure pass. I'm sure Griffith realizes they were in man. There's a pass too low for Anthony Murphy to come up with. Stolen by Munster. Kevin Schlotman to the glass. It won't go, but he's fouled. In that last possession, I'm not sure Griffith realized Munster was back in man. They were, they were standing around as if they were still in the 2 3 zone. Great take by Schlotman at the other end. Anthony Murphy picks up his second. Schlotman, first free throw is good. He'll get one more. As into the game is Antoine Van Dyke. One more for Schlotman. Give him manage a breather here, too. Munster that, is. They're sitting him down. That one's good as well. 33-25 with 50 seconds to play in this first half. Munster Pass. just went to a 1-2-2 half-court trap. Jamal Murphy now trying to work around Van Dyke. He takes him all the way down to the low post. Traveled. And traveled. Mitch Mel is just trying to do too much there. He thought he had a matchup he liked, and he was extended off the left block, tried making a spin, back down, back him down, and when he pulled back, he lost his balance. Lawrence Mosley back in for the Panthers. 40 seconds. It's a big possession here. It's an eight-point game. Munster get the last shot and cut this to six. I'd almost consider it a win the way the game started. Drew Hackett with the basketball. Between the circles, goes to the left side, gives it up to Schlotman. The weave being run by the Mustangs at the top. Luke. Yeah, they're Drew. just taking some time here. See what Coach Hackett wants to run when he started to play at about eight. Schlotman has it. We're down to ten seconds of the quarter. Here we go. Luke tried Hackett. to set a flare. They tried to set a flare for Drew Hackett off the dribble weave. Knocked and, uh, out of bounds by Anthony Harris. Yeah, and Harris saw it. Harris did a great job anticipating that, seeing the flare. And it's going to come in for Van Dyke. You know, the last couple out of bounds plays, they've cleared out one side and thrown it over to the top of Mandich. See if they look for that here with 5.1 seconds left. Island to trigger the there inbound. We had him. He still yeah. threw it in there. And it's tipped away by Murphy up the floor. Quintero for three at the horn. Misses. That's the end of the first half with the score. Griffith, 33. Munster, 25. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW, Crown Point, and WRTK, Paxton, Illinois. 
Winning requires dedication and commitment, and so does making sure you have the proper insurance coverage. State Farm agent Rich Allenbaugh has been a dedicated member of our community and a State Farm agent since 1983, and he is committed to earning your business. Rich Allenbaugh and his team of insurance professionals can be reached at 923-3030 or online at richallenbaugh.com. That's richallenbaugh.com. Hey, it's Tara for Christensen Chevy. Christensen Chevrolet is a local family-owned and operated Chevrolet dealership celebrating over 60 years in the community serving all of Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland. If you stop in, you can see why families and businesses have put their trust in us for generations. At Christensen, we have an enormous inventory of new Chevys with all of your favorite models in stock ready for immediate delivery because that's the Christensen way. We're Christensen Chevrolet, proud sponsor of our great local high school athletic programs on Indy Boulevard and Highland or visit ChristiansenChevy.com. Morris Baseball and Softball Center, a new baseball and softball development program in Northwest Indiana, provides instruction for aspiring athletes. The staff at Morris Baseball and Softball Center has over 95 years of combined professional experience, and they provide instruction which includes game-tested methods used by major league teams. Located inside Omni 41 in Sherville, Morris Baseball and Softball provides disciplined, well-organized practices and places players at highly competitive opportunities to achieve success. For more information on Morris Baseball and Softball, the phone number is 227-5250, and the website is morrisbaseballcenter.com. Concussions occur when trauma to the head or spine temporarily interferes with brain function. Seeking medical care as soon as possible is important in making a full recovery and reduces the risk of developing long-term problems. The concussion clinics at Community Hospital in Munster and St. Mary Medical Center in Hobart have a team of medical professionals experienced in evaluating and treating concussions. If you have a head or neck injury, don't wait. Head to the experts. For a head injury on the field, the court, or the ice, the phone number to the concussion clinics is 219-836-4461. Jack's Warehouse, Northwest Indiana's newest indoor family fun center, is proud to sponsor sports on the Region Sports Network. Jack's Warehouse has fun activities for all ages, including go-karts, bumper cars, sky trail, laser tag, and an arcade. Jack's even has glow-in-the-dark mini golf. Located next to Omni on Route 41 in Sherrillville, Jack's has six party rooms available for events and parties. For more information, the website is jakswarehouse.com, and the phone number is 322-JAKS. Blue 82, located in St. John, just across from Lake Central High School, is where big screen sports, mouth-watering food, live music, and good times are all on the same team. Featuring food prepared from scratch with top quality ingredients, Blue 82 provides a fun and relaxed atmosphere for groups big and small. Blue 82 is open for quick lunches, outstanding dinners, and late-night snacks. To see all that Blue 82 has to offer, including their menu, the website is www.blue82.net. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. Along with Tom Branca, Jerry Siska back with you here at Griffith High School where the Panthers lead the Munster Mustangs 33-25 to here at intermission. And you are listening, as always, to High School Basketball. This is underwritten by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealer, Chevrolet, runs deep. Well, Tom, one of the things we talked about, the Christensen Chevrolet keys to the game, uh, controlling emotions by Griffith. Uh, sometimes it has gotten the better of them. They've played with emotion in this first half, but they've done a good job of channeling it to just the basketball court and not getting crazy and carried away. Yeah, they probably had, uh, well, they've, they've got nine turnovers, which is probably more than they'd like, but they've forced ten by Munster, and they got the game to a pace that they like, so you can probably live with that if you're a coach Hayes. And that, that's where some of the emotions carrying over is down at the defensive end. I think they're playing a, a really good defensive game right now. And how about of the 10 turnovers Munster has committed? You look at the Griffin side, eight of them were steals. Right, right. They're just getting hands in passing lanes. They're, they said they're so long, and I don't think that's something people anticipate. Let's take a look at the numbers from the first half. Scoring-wise, Travell Murphy had 13, Anthony Harris had nine. Anthony Quintero had six. Uh, Kelston Hayden has three, and Anthony Murphy has two for the total of 33. Pretty good shooting in the first half. Actually, better than pretty good. 12 of 23 for Griffith, 52%. Four of 13 for three-point range, 31%. Five of six for the free throw line for 83%. Taking a look at the, the Scores for Munster. Nikola Mandich leads the way with eight points. 
Kevin Schlotman has seven. Adam Stoyich has four. I don't want to forget Drew Hackett. He has five. Luke Hackett has one. And I believe that's everybody for the total of 25. 10 of 22, 45%. Not bad shooting from the floor for Munster. Two of seven for 29% for three-point range. But Mike Hackett right now cannot be happy about three of eight from the free throw line for just 38%. Yeah, and one of those is a, a missed one and one near the end of the first half there too. So it's almost, if you look at it that way, it's worse than 37.5% when you think about points you're not getting. And we've talked about the turnovers. Griffith has nine, Munster has 10. Let's take a look at the rebounds. 13 rebounds for Munster, 14 for Griffith. So uh, pretty even there. The Mustangs able to come up with four offensive rebounds. Six assists on 10 field goals for the Mustangs. Five assists on the 12 field goals for Griffith. Largest lead of the game, Griffith 31-19. It was a 12-point advantage at that time. Three lead changes all coming in the first quarter. Griffith led 17-9 after one. Each team scored 16 in quarter number two. And the Panthers lead the Mustangs 33-25. So one of the things I noticed, too, when I look at this, uh, these stats, Griffith only has two offensive rebounds, and one of those is a deflection and a team rebound. If you keep Griffith off the boards and don't give him second chances, you can stay in the game. And I think one of the things Munster did when they went to that 2-3 in the second quarter, they rebounded really well out of it. Sometimes that's hard to do. But they, they do match up pretty well where they know where guys are at. So when the shot goes up, they were getting a body on guys. That was right in front of us here from where we're sitting. And I, I thought Munster really settled down by going to that 2-3 and played even in that second quarter because of it. Yeah, one of the things Munster at 2 of 7, you'd like to see him knock down a couple more shots from three-point range if they're going to really make a run here in the third quarter. They trail it by 8 here at the half to the Mustangs. Griffith 33. Munster 25. At Griffith Jewelers, each crafted piece of jewelry carries the tradition of quality, artistry, and accessible luxury that we've been known for since 1948. Our collections are perfect for a wide range of occasions and purposes, such as weddings, engagement parties, anniversaries, birthdays, and promenade balls, among others. Griffith Jewelers, 144 North Broad Street in Griffith. Stay tuned after the game for the Region Hoops wrap-up with Nathan Laird and Michael Brandner. That's live from the RSN studios. We'll have all the scores from tonight's action across Northwest Indiana. That's the Region Hoops wrap-up immediately following our broadcast. A couple of scores that we do have. Halftime, Michigan City Marquette leads Bishop Knoll 35-26. to At the half, Chesterton leads Michigan City 34-33. Also at the half, Lake Central leads Merrillville 24 to 21. Another halftime score, Portage leading Crown Point 23 to 19 in a low scoring affair. A couple of first quarter scores after one, Valpo leading Laporte 10 to 4. And after one, River Forest leading Lake Station 21 to 16. So there are some other scores from around Northwest Indiana on this Friday night. We're going to take a break about two minutes away from the start of the third quarter here at Griffith with the Panthers leading the Mustangs 33-25. to You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network. It's the only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW Crown Point and WRTK Paxton, Illinois. Tonight's game is being underwritten by your Indiana Farm Bureau insurance agents in Lake County. Different drivers require different kinds of car insurance. Coverage from house to house isn't always the same. And life policies vary too. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance of Lake County is proud to in part underwrite high school sports on 90.5 FM WRTW The Key. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance of Lake County. Triple Crown All-Stars Baseball and Softball Academy in Cherville is a year-round instructional facility featuring a fully astroturf building for team practice, batting cages, infield, and pitching mounds. The staff at Triple Crown features years of professional instruction in hitting, pitching, and fielding for both baseball and softball. Triple Crown All-Star Baseball and Softball Academy is located at 2208 US 41 in Cherville, and the number to call to make a reservation is 219-864-0711. The website is triplecrownallstars.com. 
Your local Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers are proud to be contributing members of the community here in Northwest Indiana. Your local Chevy dealers also pride themselves on their commitment to help you find a vehicle of your choice at a Chevy dealer near you. Our website is ChevyDriveChicago.com. Once again, that's ChevyDriveChicago.com. We look forward to serving you. Chevy runs deep. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. Tonight's game is underwritten in part by the Randall K. Miss Accounting Group in Cherville. When it comes to business, let Randall K. Miss Accounting put the numbers to work. Their phone number is 219-864-8541, and they are online at www.rkmissgroup.com. Dot com. Along with Tom Brank and Jerry Siska back with you here at Griffith High School. And you're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network on 90.5 The Key. Also streaming worldwide on the internet at regionsports.com. It's underwritten by your Chicagoland at Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers Chevrolet, the talk of the town. Griffith Basketball as we begin the third quarter with the Panthers enjoying a 33-25 advantage. Griffith attacks from left to right on the radio dial here in the third quarter. Harris on the assist from Jamel Murphy. Munster jumped in a 1-3-1 there, which they hadn't shown at all in the first half, and Griffith uh, ran an overload and got a layup. So here come the Mustangs. Mandich, Slotman, Ostoyich, Drew, and Luke Hackett, so the original starting five for Munster. Here's Schlotman with the jumper. It's good. That's a tough shot by Schlotman. He looked for a back door. Had his feet set and then rose up to shoot it. That, that's tough sometimes you're not in rhythm. Anthony and Tramel Murphy on the floor with Kelston Hayden, Anthony Quintero, and Anthony Harris. So the original starting five out there for Griffith as well. Minute played in the third. 35 to 27. Griffith by eight. Munster switched back to their 2-3 zone and they got out of that 1-3-1 that they played for one possession there to gave up the layup. This is Hayden out on the top. Takes it near the top of the arc, gives up the dribble, has to give it up to Quintero. So Coach Hayes is running an X game, and when they get it in the short corner and skip it out, they're trying to screen down. Quintero, a long three, is no good. Nobody boxed out. Anthony Murphy, he got the board, but quick hands by a stoyage, stole it away. Here comes Munster. Inside, Mandich, he's fouled as he goes up. And that's three on Anthony Murphy. I think it's on Kelston Hayden. It's his third. It's on Kelston Hayden. Okay. It's his third. Yeah, he got caught in there as the, the point guard on Mandich and had to reach out and grab him. So Nicola Mandich at the line shooting two for Munster. First one's good. So it was interesting at half. If you're Munster, you weathered the storm and got it to eight. If you're Griffith, you're happy that you've got a lead and you want to stretch it out. So... Interesting how these first four minutes of the half go. Second one by Mandich. Good as well. Now we're going to get a substitution. As Hayden goes out, and Escona comes in for Griffith. This is Escona with the basketball. 2-1-2. Two, two. Yeah, Munster's extended three-quarters court here just to slow things down. Quintero, Escona, Anthony Murphy, as it is in the front court. To Tramel Murphy, off of his hands. He's able to save it and keep possession for the Panthers. Quintero on the right wing. Six minutes to play in the third. Inside, Harris around Mandich to the glass. That won't go. Tap Murphy won't go. Rebound comes down, and Estoyich is able to grab it. His pass knocked away by Harris, and we've got a tie-up as Harris and Luke Hackett went to the floor. Yeah, Stoyich came down with that and got double teamed. Could have called a foul there, I think. There are a lot of arms and reaching and slapping. But that's how they've called the first half, too. So, being consistent. So, here come the Mustangs. Stoyich, Luke Hackett. Drew Hackett. Dribble drive on the left baseline. Got too far under. Hit the underneath of the rim. Rebound to Griffith. And here comes Escona. And that was a set there for uh, Drew Hackett. Trying to get him involved early. Quintero's on the left wing this time. Anthony Murphy. Escona. Tries to go into Harris. Nothing's there. Now they get it inside to Tramel Murphy on the baseline. And a whistle and a foul. 
Jamel Murphy looks like he's holding his hip. Yeah. And hold Bandage. possession, he was holding his hip. Bandage picks up his first, team first. Munster stays in there, 2-3. Tremel Murphy has it on the high post. Anthony Murphy wants a three. It's off the back of the iron. Two strong. Tapped around. Munster down with the board. Quickly the other way. Drew Hackett. Takes it right up against Quintero. Pull up by the jumper. Too strong. Mandich with the rebound to Drew Hackett. The layup good. Drew Hackett wanted that one. He called for it off the offensive rebound at the top of the key. A great move getting to the rim. And Griffith, who has seen their eight-point halftime lead, cut to four. Wants a timeout. And it's a full timeout. We'll take one as well. 4.53 to play in the third. It's now Griffith 35, Munster 31. Back with more after this. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network. The only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW Crown Point and WRTK Paxton, Illinois. At the Crowell Company, they will keep it right here. Numbers on a ledger or anonymous people who sign up on online. Full time our customers the families we see at the ball fields, the grocery store, and all around the community. That's because for nearly 50 years, the Crowell Companies have been part of the community right here in Northwest Indiana, offering personalized custom services that only a local company can provide. For home, auto, and business insurance, it's the Crowell Companies, 923-2131, and online at CrowellInsurance.com. The Crowell Companies, home of the insurance superheroes. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. Welcome back to the Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealer presentation of High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network. Been written by your Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers. Chevrolet, the best-selling brand in Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana, number one. You know, we talked about runs as one of the keys to the game, and you've got Griffith had a nine-point run in the first half, two six-point runs, and here you've got Munster on a six-point run, making a run of their own. Sometimes in high school basketball games short enough, whoever makes two or three runs of six to nine points to win a game. So here's Ascona. He went into the backcourt to take the inbound pass. Brings it into the front court. Quintero into the corner. Harris. Anthony Murphy to the basket. Off the rim several times and finally dropped. That and time Munster really extended that 2-3 and gave up that elbow look to Anthony Harris or Anthony Murphy. 37-31. Astoyich. The cut, got the pass from Luke Hackett, and scores with the left-handed layup. 37-33 as we approach the midway point of the third quarter. Anthony Murphy, Quintero. Back to Anthony Murphy. Quintero, long three, right side. That's got that it. right wing. You just can't, you got to run him off that right free throw line extended area. Nine, he loves that side of the floor. Nine points for Quintero on three threes. 40-33, four minutes to play in the third. Luke Hacken inside of Stoyich. Goes up with the left hand using the rim to protect the basketball from the two defenders flying in. That's a really crafty move by Adam Stoyich. 40 to 35. Saw that in the fall of football when he was quarterback for Munster and he had that same craftiness as a quarterback. Good athlete all the way around. Griffith on the attack. Murphy, Quintero, right wing three. Right that one's going to come up short, but it's going to go straight to Murphy in the right corner. He'll put up a three, and he hits it. Anthony Second Harris. tray of the game for Anthony Harris, who has 14 points in this one. 43-35, the Griffith lead back to eight. 3.15 to play in the third. A Stoyich on the right wing. Drew Hackett at the top, pops out. Dribble drives down to the baseline, and he won't get the shot off as he was fouled by Anthony Harris and Drew Hackett to the line to shoot a couple for the Mustangs. First foul on Harris. I really like that set Munster runs there. They, they run the ball up the right side, and then Drew Hackett runs the rim, sets the back screen for Mandage, and then pops out, and then they've got a, a two-man game on the left side of the floor with Drew Hackett and Mandage. And if, if, if Griffith can't switch that, because it's big and little, and then... Uh, Drew Hackett was able to get to the rim. First one by Hackett off the front and back of the iron and then falls. So he gets the first. He has one more coming as Manis and Van Dyke back in for Munster. Levin Tire and Service Center has seven locations in northwest Indiana and it's more than just tires. Find all of their services and locations on the web at levintire.com. Second one for Drew Hackett is up and good as well. So he hits them both. 
Drew with nine points in the game, 43 to 37. Six point advantage to the Panthers, three minutes to play in the third. Anthony, Her- Anthony Murphy, excuse me, uh, the dribble into the front court. And ball knocked by Hackett. Hackett tipped that there. And it went out of bounds. It'll yeah. stay with Griffith. And there they changed defense again after the free throw. Went to a 1 2 2 three quarter court. Just a little indecision by Griffith. That's Kona. Anthony Murphy at the top of the key. As Kona on the right wing. To Tramel Murphy in the right corner. Back to Anthony Murphy on the wing. He's going to take it down to the corner after clearing his brother out. Anthony Harris pops out, gets the pass. Murphy now going to dribble drive, try to go around Van Dyke. Tramel Murphy cutting the lane, gets the pass and score. That's a great look from Anthony to Tramel. He drove hard into that into that block area on the baseline. Was able to dump it off. 15 points on the night for Tramel Murphy. 45-37. Two and a half to play in the third quarter. There's Van Dyke on the left wing. Cross the floor, Manis. Drew Hackett with a screen. Top of the key, three. Comes up short. Tapped around. Put up by Van Dyke. And we're going to get a whistle and a foul against Griffin. That's on Tramel. I think that's his third. Second is second. what I have. His second, okay. I, that was another I don't know about set. you. I thought that looked like a jump ball. A yeah, it was tied myself. up for a little bit there. That was another set run for Drew Hackett with a back screen step out to the top of the key for an open three. Here's a Stoyich. He's got a three from the left corner and hits it. 11 on the night for a Stoyich. 45-40 as we approach two minutes in the third. Griffith with the lead in the basketball. Quintero on the left side. Escona here near the top. Going to bring it to the right, Anthony Murphy. Backdoor cut up. What missing it is Tramel Murphy. They lost him on a weak side. We get a jump ball on the battle between Tramel Murphy and Antoine Van Dyke. If you're Griffith, you got to get that one down. That was a backdoor lob. 2-3 was pretty high, and then Tramel was on the back side of that and just missed the, missed the little bunny. Anthony Murphy, Quintero from the right side. Nope. He went to the corner. That was the problem, Tom. Yeah, he needs to be on that wing. He loves that, that wing. and Between the wing and the top of the key on the right side is his favorite spot. Bandage back in after a short break. Van Dyke having a seat. Rebound was knocked out of bounds by Griffith. Mosley into the game as Quintero takes a break. Yeah, Quintero can get hot. He had eight threes in, uh, in the Highland Holiday Tournament in one game. And Schlotman re-enters as Luke Hackett will take a break. Munster basketball, 144 in the third, 45-40, Griffith. Now Griffith counters a man-to-man full court pressure. Mandich gets it. Look for a run and jump here. Someone will come back and try to get to Ostoyed. He brings it across the half-court line on the dribble. Mostly defense, Griffith in a man-to-man. Stoyich to Schlotman, pump fakes. Harris stays. Now a switch as Mosley's on Schlotman. It's here on the left side in Kevin's hands. He tries to go inside to Ostoyich. Oh, great play by Ostoyich again. He posts it up. He just sealed him off on his back and was able to just turn and a little drop step to the rim. Monsters within three with 110 to play in the third. Anthony Murphy with the dribble takes it to the right side. Goes into the corner. Harris back to Murphy. Inside to Tramel Murphy. Kick out. Pump fake by Escona. Mosley. Anthony I'm, Murphy. If I'm Griffith, I think you got to look to get something inside here. Anthony Murphy's between the circles. Escona to the right. Into the corner to Harris. Escona, his pass knocked away by Drew Hackett, but it goes out of bounds. Stays with the Panthers with 43 seconds to play. Quintero back in as Mosley will have a quick seat now. Tonight's game is underwritten in part by Steak Burritos in Highland. The fast carryout service for lunch or dinner at Steak Burritos, 3028 West 45th Street in Highland. This is a big possession here. It's a three-point lead for Griffith. You're under a minute. You're at 32 seconds now. And if Munster can get a stop, they've got the possession arrow to start the fourth quarter. 23 seconds. The clock runs. Escona with it. And he's double teamed, gets it up to Murphy. His pass knocked away, but Tramel Murphy picks it up. Goes to the basket. Spin move, he scored, but the call is going to be an offensive foul on Tramel Murphy. And Tom, that will be three. 
Yeah, I thought, I actually thought he traveled a little bit before the spin, before the contact was made. I thought that's what they were going to call. I didn't expect the charge. Yeah. Coach Hayes is going crazy on the He side is line. furious with that call. Sharp dressed man going a little nuts down there on the sideline. Schlotman across the half court line with five seconds. Down low, Stoyich gets it. Any surprise that it was Adam Stoyich? And Quintero's full court pass, a shot, no good. After three, Griffith, 45, Munster, 44. Don't go anywhere. The fourth is next. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network. The only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW, Crown Point, and WRTK, Paxton, Illinois. Winning requires dedication and commitment, and so does making sure you have the proper insurance coverage. State Farm agent Rich Allenbaugh has been a dedicated member of our community and a State Farm agent since 1983, and he is committed to earning your business. Rich Allenbaugh and his team of insurance professionals can be reached at 923-3030 or online at richallenbaugh.com. That's richallenbaugh.com. Welcome back to the Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealer presentation of high school basketball right here on the Region Sports Network on 90.5 The Key. We're streaming worldwide on the internet at regionsports.com. Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, the talk of the town. Along with Tom Brank and Jerry Siska back with you here at Griffith High School. Munster, winners of 46 straight in the NCC over Your seven local plus Chicago Land years. And Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers are pushed to the limit by Griffith, but Munster left that third quarter, Tom, with the momentum in this one right now. Yeah, they got that stop with under a minute when Griffith was waiting for the last shot, and they ended up getting a bucket out of it, and now they start with the ball here. And if they score, they'll have their first lead since the opening quarter of Stoyich to the basket. Well, Adam with... Stoyich is stepping up. With 11 in the quarter. Just drove there and had to, they committed a foul to stop him as he go to the free throw line. And that one is against Anthony Harris. That'll be... Well, they didn't call it shooting. They were giving the ball out of bounds. Actually, they're going to call it on Anthony Murphy. That's his third. So the Twins, each with three fouls for Griffith. Manis is in the game to start the fourth. Kevin Schlotman for three. Too strong. Tap Manis, no good. Knocked around. Chased into the corner by three Mustangs. It goes out of bounds. It goes to the Panthers. At Griffith Jewelers, each crafted piece of jewelry carries the tradition of quality, artistry, and accessible luxury that we've been known for since 1948. Our collections are perfect for a wide range of occasions and purposes, such as weddings, engagement parties, anniversaries, birthdays, and promenade balls, among others. Griffith Jewelers, 144 North Broad Street in Griffith. You know, Munster looked unsure what defense they were in there. And Griffith pushed it up 84 feet, and Anthony Murphy got to the rim and had to get fouled just because there was some indecision by Munster. Nikola Mandich picks up the foul. His second. First free throws of the night for Anthony Murphy. First one in and out. Lawrence Mosley coming into the ball game, and Anthony Harris having a seat for Griffith. Kind of a different feeling in the gym right now, isn't it, you, from the first half? Yeah, you could, the Griffiths waiting for something to happen, and Munster, you can hear their fan section behind us, really feels like something's happening. Murphy hits the second. He splits a pair. The Panthers have a two-point advantage, 46-44. Schlotman gives it up to Manis. Manis looking for a Stoyich. Stoyich with it. Takes Mosley down, gives it up to Drew Hackett. Look for him to look for Ostoyich here. He's trying to post up Mosley. He's got about three inches on him, four inches on him. Schlotman almost took that three at the top, had a good look. Looking for Drew Hackett in the left corner. Good save from that one Ostoyich going out of bounds. Like working hard in the post, too. Bandage at the top of the key. Seven minutes to play. Griffith by two. Ostoyich. Inside to Mandich. Up and no, it won't go. Rebound Anthony Murphy. And Mandich going to pick up a foul for the Mustangs. That's a frustration foul there. He missed the shot. Went after the rebound pretty hard and then fouled at 75 feet from the basket. That's his third. Tonight's game is underwritten in part by the Randall K. Miss Accounting Group in Cherville 
when it comes to business, but Randall came in account and put the numbers to work. Their phone number is 219-864-8541, and they are online at www.rkmisgroup.com. So now Munster goes in there, one, looks like 1-3-1 one, one, half-court trap with Luke Hackett on top. Griffith into the front court, Hayden with the basketball. Watch the split, the Hackett brothers on top, but he's going to get trapped if he tries that. So with the pass, gets it to Anthony Harris. Quintero down on the right side at the free throw line. Harris hits it. Anthony Got that silky smooth Harris. jumper when he gets his feet set. 48-44 Griffith. Here's Schlotman, a Stoich. Luke Hackett to Drew Hackett. Pull up. Off the iron, won't go. Tremel Murphy with the rebound. Hayden into the front court for the Panthers. We approach six minutes to play. Munster switched back to the 2-3. They did the same thing at the start of the third. They went 1-3-1 one, one for one possession and then switched back to the 2-3. An entry pass off the hands of Cremel Murphy. Munster able to pick it up and a quick 30-second timeout called by Mike Hackett. That's, I have them. That's just the first timeout they have used in this ballgame. 5.59 to go. 48 44 Griffith and stay tuned after the game for the Region Hoops warm up or wrap up, excuse me. Uh, that comes with Nathan Laird and Michael Brandner, and that's live from the RSN studios. We'll have all the scores from tonight's action across Northwest Indiana at the Region Hoops wrap up immediately following our broadcast. We got a lot on the line here with just under six minutes to go. You got the 46 game win streak. You've got can can Griffith win a big game and get over the over the hump to say per se. And Munster just hanging around. Game has uh, been everything it was built up to be, Tom. Yeah, it's been a blast so far. Four point game to Griffith. Munster basketball. Stoyt to trigger the inbound and some full court pressure by the Panthers. Schlotman gets it in the backcourt. He's going to work against Mosley. More token pressure than anything else by Griffith. Now Hayden will bring it, take Schlotman as he crosses the half-court line. Drew Hackett cut the baseline. The pass too far for him. He's able to chase it down in the corner, but his pass is intercepted by Quintero. And a double dribble by Anthony Quintero. Yeah, that play that Munster just ran with Schlotman going back over to Drew Hackett. That's the second time they ran it. And remember earlier was uh, Murphy and come from the weak side deflected it. They did the same thing this time. I think Quintero turns it over coming up court of a double dribble at half court after getting pressure. So Schlotman has it in the back court. Nearing the five and a half minute mark of the fourth quarter, Griffith by four. Schlotman, Mandich had a nice look at the free throw line. Instead, going to kick it out to Luke Hackett. Luke's going to bring it to the right side, kick back to Mandich. They're going to try to go inside off the foot. Of Tramel Murphy, that's a kick, stays with Munster. Yeah, they're looking inside for Adam Stoyic again. He's got Lawrence, Mos Lawrence Mosley's on him still in the post. Try to go inside to Ostoyich after that big third quarter. There it is. is. Adam Ostoyich with the basket. Adam Ostoyich has their last nine for Munster. So here comes Griffith. It's a two point game. Hayden. Into the corner, three on the way. That's no good. There's a Stoyich with the rebound. The Schlotman all the way to the glass. We're tied. Game is tied at 48 with five minutes to go. Tied out, Griffin. You know, that corner three is tough. You get long rebounds off corner three. Sometimes that's the first pass of your fast break going the other way. We'll keep it right here. It was a 30-second timeout by the Panthers. 48-48 with 4.56 remaining in the ball game. Tonight's game is underwritten in part by Rossi and Taylor real estate agent Matt Maloney, your community real estate agent. Find Matt on the web at Matt Maloney. Dot Rossi and Taylor dot com. Levin Tire and Service Center has seven locations in Northwest Indiana and it's more than just tires. Find all of their services and locations on the web at Levin Tire Center dot com. So it'll be Griffith basketball coming out of the timeout. It's a big possession for them just to get back in this and get the crowd back. 
Munster sitting in the 2 3 still. Look for him to go inside. I expect Harris or Tramel to get a good look here. <laughs> Griffith led by eight after one and led by eight at the half. But they were outscored by Munster 19 to 12 in the fourth to make it a one point, or in the third, excuse me, to make it a one point game going to the fourth. And now we are tied at 48. Trying to run uh, Quintero through the other side. He's coming off a double stagger. There he is. He gets the basketball. Couldn't get the shot over Drew Hackett. Here's a pass. It's intercepted. Schlotman behind the back to the basket. No. Rebound Murphy. Hayden up the floor, and he's fouled. Well, that was a great job by Schlotman to get in that passing lane for that pass back to the top, and then he just couldn't finish. It's under a little bit of pressure, though. Luke Hackett picks up the foul. I have him for two. And that is the fourth team against the Mustang. There haven't really been too many fouls called here for the type of game we've got. And we've got a carry called against Hayden. An unforced turnover as he was just doing a slow dribble into the front court. I think Coach Hacker might have had something to do with that this whole game. He's been asking for it. Just point it out to the officials. Sometimes you get it. Kevin Schlotner. Backdoor cut, a stoyage, got it! And a foul on Anthony Murphy, and Munster leads. That was a play set up, using Griffith's aggressiveness against him. He made a cut up at the wing, and then went back door, perfectly set up, and a great pass. And that is four fouls on Anthony Murphy. And Adam Astoyich to the line to complete the three-point play. Free throw is up. Good. And his Mustangs lead it by three. 51 to 48. Under four minutes to play. He's got three-quarter court pressure here. A 1-2-2. Two, two. Hayden gets through it. Into the lane. Tries a pass to a backdoor cutting. Tremel Murphy. It's knocked out of bounds by the Mustangs. It's really fun to watch a kid just rise to the occasion. An animal story tonight has been amazing here this second half. Frank Gascota back in for the Griffith Panthers. It's Hayden will have a seat. Quintero brings it all the way into the backcourt to Anthony Murphy. Gives it up to Escono, brings it across the half court line. Clock okay. runs at 340. Escono gives him another shooter, too, compared to Kelston Hayden. Pass intended from one Murphy to the other, stepping in front and intercepting Nikola Mandic. That's the back, back turnovers by Anthony Murphy, too. And we've got a timeout. Timeout called by Munster. 3.25 to play. Mustangs, 51. Panthers, 48. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Yeah, we talked about the runs, and they look at the second half. Munster's had a 6-0 run, a 7-0 run, and they're on a 7-0 run now. And uh, Griffith in this half... They haven't strung anything together. They had a 3-0 run to start the fourth quarter, and that was it. Griffith has only scored three points in this fourth quarter and only 15 points in this half after scoring 33 in the first half. Yeah, and those three points were the first three points of the quarter. And since then, Munster's on a 7-0 run. Mr. Goodies in Griffith is a proud underwriter of tonight's broadcast. Located at 1270 East Bridge Road, Mr. Goodies is open seven days a week. And tonight's game is underwritten in part by Steak Burritos in Highland for fast carryout service for lunch or dinner at Steak Burritos, 3028 West 45th Street in Highland. Munster basketball, the lead for the Mustangs as well, 51 to 48. Stoich to trigger the inbound. Griffith faithful giving uh, Stoich the business over there. They were going to manage. Tramel Murphy stole it. He goes up. He can't get it to go, but he was fouled. But Tramel Murphy will get two. That was a long cross-court pass there. It was going on an inbounds play. Luke Hackett picks up the foul, his third. Mel Murphy to shoot a couple. Try to get his club within one. First one, no. You know, Jamel shoots it without taking a dribble, which is unusual for a free throw shooter. Mosley in, Quintero out. Expect some full-court pressure here with this lineup out here for Griffith. 
with Mosley, and he's got Kelson Hayden back in. He can pressure the guards. Second one is good by Travell Murphy. It's a two-point game. Advantage Mustangs. Here's the full-court pressure you talked about, Tom. Yeah, I've expected here with three to go. Regardless of foul trouble, he's got to go after. There's a run and jump where they double. Here's, here's a, a turnover. Here's a pass. Schlotman threw it to Travell Murphy to the basket. We're yep. tied. <laughs> Timeout Munster. Just what you expected there. You can see just by the lineup change what they were going to try to do. And all day, Munster's done a great job of running everybody low. So they're down to the court so that Griffith can't come back and run and jump and double the guy with the ball. And that time, they were able to run and jump, and they got the turnover. Full timeout by the Mustangs with 3.08 to play. And the game tied at 51. We'll keep it right here. Windsor Laundry is a full-service laundry care center located at 8233 Kennedy Avenue in Highland. Windsor Laundry is open 24 hours. And now, Windsor Laundry announces their pickup and delivery service. They'll pick up your laundry, wash it, fold it, and return it. Great for busy people. To schedule a pickup, the website is windsorlaundry.com, and the number is 838-1149. 838-1149. Windsor Laundry, friendly neighborhood laundromat. The timeouts, what I have, Tom, I have Munster with two full timeouts remaining, Griffith with three timeouts of 30 and two fulls. We'll see how that plays in. Possession arrow belongs to, can you see it down there? It it belongs belongs to Griffith. It should be Griffith. Neither team in the bonus yet, although Griffith at 16 fouls and Munster at five. So the next Panther foul will put the Mustangs in the one and one. You know, this is where we talked before the game about emotion. See how Griffith handles this monster. These monster kids have been here before. Most of them played last year on varsity. Stoyich up the floor to Schlotman. Drew Hackett takes it into the lane, pivots, has it knocked away, and it goes out of bounds and stays with the Mustangs. Right now, Munster's got four seniors on the floor. Griffith's got two, right? Uh, let's see. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, Mosley. Yeah. Mosley and Harris for Griffith, and everyone except Luke Hackett for Munster. Stoyer, Schlott. Schlottman passed up an open three there. He's going to take it to the middle of the top of the key, and he's going to bring it back to the left side where he came from. Handich on the pop out. Back to Schlottman. There's Stoyer who pops out. Back to Schlottman, moving the foot basketball to the right side. Two and a half minutes to play. We're tied at 51. He's got to count. Hey. Luke Hackett has it. He's trapped. Schlotman gets it. Goes to the baseline. There's a lot of body here. And yep. Lawrence Mosley is going to be called with the foul. He's first. And that will be a one of the bonus now for Munster for Kevin Schlotman. Seventh team foul against Griffin. Schlotman shooting 58% coming into the game from the free throw line. Again, Munster comes in. In eight years of NCC play, including the partial season thus far, 46 and 0 in league action for the Mustangs. Schlotman misses it. Rebound for Mel Murphy. Here comes Griffith, tied at 51. Into the front court from Mel Murphy to Anthony Murphy. Hayden, Quintero. We've got a whistle. Up the yeah, there's floor. something on the floor. Little girl lost her pom pom down there in the corner. So Griffith will take it out of bounds. You know, if you're Munster, you better make sure you know where Anthony Quintero is in this set. It's Hayden with the basketball to Anthony Murphy, to Tramel Murphy. Anthony Murphy. Quintero's and coming to the right side here. Anthony Murphy to Quintero in the corner. Anthony Murphy has it back. Quintero trying to get it down in the post to Harris. Couldn't. The ball to the left side now in Hayden's hand as we are under two minutes tied. Quintero, Anthony Murphy, Hayden. Quintero, and now Griffith wants a timeout with a minute 43 on the clock. It's a 30-second time for the Panthers. 51-51 is your score. Don't forget that at the conclusion of tonight's game, we'll name the Berry Brothers Blue Collar Player of the Game, underwritten by our friends at Berry Brothers. Barry Brothers, located one half mile north of I-8094 on Indianapolis Boulevard in Hammond. And also at the conclusion of tonight's game, we'll name the Growl Company's Lantern Man Superhero of the Game. Growl Company, proud to recognize the superheroes on the basketball court. 
And with Dom and I are done from here at Griffith, stay tuned after the game for the Region Hoops wrap-up show. That's with Nathan Laird and Michael Brandner, live from the RSN Studios. They'll have all the scores from tonight's action across northwest Indiana. That's the Region Hoops wrap-up show immediately following our broadcast. So both teams getting set and now breaking their respective huddles. Griffith with the basketball. Quintero to trigger from in front of his own bench with the game tied at 51. It's everything you want right now. Under two minutes, tie game. Full house. Yep. Munster's still in a 2-3. They're extending on the side that Quintero's on. Actually, they're in man. Hayden gives it up to Anthony Murphy. Coach Hackett switched the man at the timeout. He's been in zone almost exclusively this fourth quarter. 125 to play. Harris. He's in the left corner. Gives it up to Murphy. It's Trammell in the corner. Anthony on the wing. Back out on top to Hayden as we approach one minute to play. If Griffith's content, or if much is content, Tom, to sit back, you think Griffith wants to wait for the last shot? I think shot? Griffith will take the last shot now. You're at 55 seconds. Anthony Murphy, Hayden for three, left wing. That's too strong. It misses everything. Harris tries to save it, and he cannot. It'll go to Munster. I don't think that's the shot you want right there. Now Munster's going to have a chance to hold it for the last shot. We're going to have to deal with Griffith's full court pressure. Again, they sub uh, Lawrence Mosley back in for Kelston Hayden. 48.7 seconds left. Everybody in the gym on their feet. Comes in to Drew Hackett. If I'm Munster, I'm fine with the ball being in Drew Hackett's hands here, right? He's working against Anthony Harrison. You are correct. 40 seconds. Timeout, Munster. Uh, Michigan City, another score from elsewhere. They defeat Chesterton tonight. 75-65. Wow. Well, Michigan City beat Munster last week. Playing well down the stretch here. Had a chance to see them last week against Crown Point. Bulldogs prevailing here. 37.7 seconds remaining. A 51-51 tie. Munster will have the basketball. They are in the bonus. Munster with just five team fouls thus far. A Munster with just one timeout remaining, according to my stat sheet, as that was a full timeout that they just called. So earlier in the game, Munster went to that dribble weave, and they tried flaring through Hackett to the right side. I wouldn't be surprised if they, once they break this full floor pressure, they go to that dribble weave again to use some clock. But I almost, I'd be tempted to throw the ball into Ostoyich if he's got a matchup down there with the smaller guard. Again, 46 straight Northwest Crossroads Conference wins. 46-0 for the Mustangs in the league in its eight years of existence. And yeah, that's the amazing part. The Northwest Crossroads has only been here for eight years and they haven't lost yet. Yep. And everyone keeps wondering who's going to get them. And this was the one everyone pointed to this year. Munster with the basketball. Tie game, 37.7 on the clock. Here we go. Astoyic gets it from the official, brings it in to Drew Hackett in the backcourt. <coughs> Drew's going to slowly bring it up with Anthony Murphy on him. He's going to bring it to the left side, and Astoyic. Murphy's going to switch off and take Astoyic. Here's the dribble weave. Hackett. Murphy keeps popping out and taking the man that takes the handoff so he cannot dribble across. Yeah, they're trying to steal it. And Hackett couldn't get it to Schlotman, and it forces Munster to burn their final timeout with 16.8. Yeah, I think Griffith anticipated, Coach Hayes anticipated that dribble handoff. They put Anthony Murphy on top, and he kept jumping the dribble handoff, creating some problems there. So Real aggressively, too. According to my stats, and I'm certainly not going to say they're official, Munster is out of timeouts. Griffith still with two full timeouts remaining. Makes that it can, real important for Munster to be able to get this ball in balance here, too, though. Yes. With no timeouts. Yes. 
So we have a 51-51 tie with 16.8 left on the clock in regulation. Yeah, the officials just confirmed it. Munster has zero, Griffith has two timeouts left. Should the Mustangs score, there's anything left on the clock. Griffith will be able to get a stop in play to be able to set something up. But first things first. First, they need a defensive stop, and if there's a miss, they've got to control the backboard. Yeah, and what's interesting there is is Coach Hayes doesn't mind letting them go in transition. He feels like he's got some athletes that can get to the rim and get shots. I mean, you got the Murphy brothers, and you've got uh, Anthony Harris. So if you can get them in transition where they're going to get a good look, maybe even force a foul. They've been getting fouls in transition where Munster gets out man going down the floor. A Stoyich to trigger the inbound, Mosley harassing over on the far side in front of the Griffith students. Comes into Drew Hackett at the half court line. Into the corner, Luke Hackett has it. Back to Drew, 10 seconds. Drew bringing it to the jump ball area, top of the key. We're down to five. Drew. Working on Mosley in the corner. Pump fake. Schlotman. No. Put back by Mandich. No. We're going to overtime. Wow. Drew Hackett did a nice job against the pressure. He got double teamed on the left wing. He was able to get it to Schlotman. He got a, a clean look after he pump fake Murphy in the air. He's got a lot of rim. Munster outscores Griffith 7 to 6. There in the fourth quarter to send this one to overtime. We'll be back with the OT after this. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW, Crown Point, and WRTK, Paxton, Illinois. Jack's Warehouse, Northwest Indiana's newest indoor family fun center, is proud to sponsor sports on the Region Sports Network. Jack's Warehouse has fun activities for all ages, including go-karts, bumper cars, sky trail, laser tag, and an arcade. Jack's even has glow-in-the-dark mini golf. Located next to Omni on Route 41 in Sherrillville, Jack's has six party rooms available for events and parties. For more information, the website is jakswarehouse.com, and the phone number is 322-JAKS. Sports in the region are about tradition, and since 1946, Barry Brothers in Hammond has built a tradition of quality and service. With a professionally trained sales staff, Barry Brothers offers a selection of quality American-made work boots, safety shoes, and apparel. Located on Indianapolis Boulevard, a half mile north of Interstate 94, Barry Brothers is devoted to providing exceptional service to ensure the satisfaction of every customer. Barry Brothers is open seven days a week, and gift certificates are available. The website is barrybros.com. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. Along with Tom Brank and Jerry Siska back with you here at Griffith High School. As you are listening to a Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealer presentation of High School Hoops, right here on the Region Sports Network on 90.5 The Key. Also streaming worldwide on the internet at Region Sports. Dot com. Your Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers, the MVP of MPG. A three, no good by the Panthers, but a turnover by the Mustangs. Gives the ball back to Griffith. We're tied at 51. 3.51 left in this first extra period. Looking at both of these schedules, uh, Tom, this is the first overtime game for either squad this season. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if it opens up at all. You know, the end of that fourth quarter really oh. tightened up and both teams were holding the ball. It'll be interesting to see if it opens up. Grip, or Munster's still sitting in the 2-3, but wouldn't be surprised to see both of them run a little bit more here. Both teams with their starters on the floor to begin the overtime. Harris, the jumper, no. Drew Hack at the rebound. Mustangs with their first full possession of overtime. 3.15 on the clock, tied at 51. And oh. we're going to get Drew Hackett with the foul. Looks like Kelston Hayden was going down on his own. Just lost his feet. And actually, it's going to be Adam Astoyich. Well, they called the screen there. It's going to pick up the foul on the illegal screen. His third, team sixth. Munster already in the bonus. Well, if Griffith can get it to the short corner, they had it last time, and Anthony Harris took the shot. They can hit the post. There he is. Jamal Murphy is shot. Block, but a foul on Luke Hackett, his fourth. Yeah, the way the 2 3 is, the way they're extended, if they can hit that short corner, the uh, the, the high post in the elbow can dive, and there's a layup there. That was the first time they really looked for it. 
Chamel Murphy at the line to shoot two. That's the seventh team foul against Munster. So now both teams in the one and one here in this overtime. Chamel Murphy's first free throw off the front of the iron. No good. We remain tied. Expect some full court pressure here. They just made the switch Quintero out of the game and Lawrence Mosley in. Each time they've done this with Hayden and Mosley, they look for full court pressure and deny the guard. Second one by Murphy. Good. Puts the Panthers up one. 52-51. True Hackett with Anthony Murphy on him. Brings it up with the left hand in the half court line as he swings. Mosley pops out. Now Hackett is double teamed. And we've got a 10-second call against the Mustangs. And Quintero going to come back in. Mosley going to have a seat. Panther possession. Panther lead by one, 248. Yeah, there's a lot of little jabber in between teams here at each of these whistles. Interesting to see if that stays under control. Into the front court comes Hayden. Takes it to the left side of the floor. Popping out is Harris, and he gets the basketball in the jump ball circle. Munster's in man-to-man defense now, too. Hayden on the left. Anthony Murphy has it. He takes it out of the dribble down, brings it back out, gives it up to Harris at the top. Inside, Tramel Murphy with possession. Great pass by Harris. Basket Murphy. It's a three-point lead to Griffith. 2.20 to play in overtime. Here comes running jump. They're looking at double Drew Hackett. Schlotman has it, and he's trapped in the corner. Loses it off of him. Off of Munster, it goes to Griffith. The emotional aspect we have talked throughout the night, though, Tom. Griffith's doing a lot of talking yeah. here in this overtime. They need to keep it under control. Yeah, that, that last turnover by Munster, there was a little talking, getting the guys' faces a little bit. And that's just the emotion, younger team. Manis comes into the game. He's Luke Hackett has a seat with his four fouls. Tramel Murphy gets the inbounds pass as we approach the midway point of the overtime. And it's timeout. Timeout Griffith. 2.03 to play in overtime. Let's take a 30 second. Griffith 54, Munster 51. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network. The only game in town. Morris Baseball and Softball Center, a new baseball and softball development program in Northwest Indiana, provides instruction for aspiring athletes. The staff at Morris Baseball and Softball Center has over 95 years of combined professional experience, and they provide instruction which includes game-tested methods used by major league teams. Located inside Omni 41 in Sherville, Morris Baseball and Softball provides disciplined, well-organized practices and places players at highly competitive opportunities to achieve success. For more information on Morris Baseball and Softball, the phone number is 227-5250, and the website is morrisbaseballcenter.com. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. Along with Tom Brank and Jerry Sister back with you here at Griffith High School. And you're listening to Prep Basketball on the Region Sports Network, underwritten by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Chevrolet, the best-selling brand in Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana, number one. Don't forget, after the ball game this evening... It's the Region Hoops wrap-up show with Nathan Laird and Michael Brandner. All the scores from tonight's action across Northwest Indiana. Here with 2.03 to play in the first overtime. Griffith with the basketball and a 54-51 to 51 lead over the Mustangs. Looks like Munster's going to go to a 1-3-1. They've extended it into the backcourt to the volleyball line with Ostoyich on the ball. Hayden to Quintero. Back to Hayden, who now is in the front court. Backdoor cut. Up. Shot no good, but a foul. And to Anthony Harris, that's going to go to the line. That was a good look by Kelston Hayden. A little diagonal pass from the top of the key along the baseline. Found an open Harris. He took it strong to the rim. Connor Mann is going to pick up his third. Anthony Harris gets two. 18 foul on the Mustang. First one. Good. Turns it into a two possession game as that is a four point lead to Griffin. Mosley back in. Quintero with a seat. 149 on the clock here in the first overtime. You know, look for Munster here to do something where they set those back screens with Drew Hackett where he could step out 
for an open three. Second free throw, no good. Estoyich with the rebound. Needs help. Gets it from Manis. Munster needs to hurry. Stolen. Pass. Stolen by Hayden to the basket. Connor Manis commits the foul again. Hayden's going to get two. That's a big turnover right there. You get him to miss the second free throw. And uh, Drew Hackett was all the way down the front court where they run their free throw line break. They couldn't get back in time, and uh, Connor Manis got trapped in the back court. Four on Manis, ninth team on Munster. Kelston Hayden, the junior, at the line to shoot two for the Panthers. First one is up and good. 56-51 Griffith, 137 left in the first overtime. Second one coming from Hayden. Up and that's in and out. Baskoyich able to chase down the rebound. Minute and a half. Here come the Mustang. Connor Manis at the half court line. Baskoyich lets to take it to the basket. We've got a whistle of foul against Griffith. Going to send Baskoyich to the line for a one in the bonus. Yeah, Lawrence Mosley got too many hands there on uh, on Baskoyich. Two on stops Mosley. at 129. Griffith by five, minute and a half to go in overtime as Mosley has a seat and Quintero's back in. Say these are big free throws would be an understatement, wouldn't it? Yeah, no kidding. They need points with the clock stop, that's for sure. First one by Stoyage, off the back of the iron, but Great Kevin rebound. Schlotman with the rebound off the backboard, no! Loose and Quintero gets it, foul, Luke Hackett. And that's five on Luke. Boy, Schlotman did a great job getting that long rebound, getting something back up on the rim. I thought it was in from our angle. And it wasn't. Griffin was able to secure the rebound. Quintero coming down to get a rebound. And Quintero's going to have two free throws as that is the 10th team foul against the Mustangs. Anthony Quintero, first free throw up and no good off the back of the iron. It remains... A three-point game. That doesn't know. It was 56-51. I think the scoreboard's wrong. Second one by Quintero is good. Mosley coming in. Munster hasn't scored in this overtime yet. Have they? Um, oh, they just switched it back. So, yeah, the scoreboard here was wrong for a possession there. That's what I was hesitating about because I didn't, yeah. I don't remember Munster scoring. Six-point advantage to Griffith. 57-51 with 1.23 remaining. Oh, turnover. Inbounds. Lost and Mosley couldn't score. A Stoyich the other way with a minute 15. Kick out. Drew Hackett. He's at the left side on the wing. Spin move. That's a lot of Hayden. body there. To Mandich. Good. The timeout Munster. Nikola Mandich, 57-53. And is, yeah. Yeah, the physicalness of this game. Yeah, there's a lot of body down here. I mean, it's consistent throughout. The refs have done a pretty decent job, but there's a lot of body on Drew Hackett on that spin there. Two hands on him and a little bump. 67 seconds remain in overtime. Drift of 57. Munster, 53. Is this the night that the string in the NCC for Munster is going to come to an end? You know, the way it looks right now, Grip is playing a lot of confidence. I mean, they're defensively, they're playing with confidence. They actually got over the hump there in the third quarter when they were a little bit flat, played a pretty decent fourth quarter, and this overtime's been all Griffith so far. Well, the question marks about the Panthers after the East Chicago and Andrean games are getting answered tonight. Yeah, and it doesn't get any easier whether we get, they go to play Hammond tomorrow and they go to Roosevelt on Wednesday, Wednesday night. Yep. Those are two sectional opponents. That's why we talked about this being a big game for them. Right. Just to play with confidence going against sectional opponents and finish out the year and slay the champ and then get a shot at the conference title. Right. Right. There's a lot on the line tonight. Probably the most important of all those is just their psyche. It's quite certainly Munster has all the ability in the world to go to Andran and win that last conference game that they have to play in a couple of weeks. Right. Absolutely right. 
First well, things first, Quintero to bring it in for Griffin. Looking for somewhere to go. Gets it into Murphy to Hayden. Hayden lost the handle in the backcourt. Now he's looking for he somewhere to fed. go to Quintero. To contact at the half court no. line. What do we got? 10 second call. 58.1 turnover, Griffith. Munster with the basketball. Plenty of time left. Four point game, Mosley back in. Quintero having a seat. Mandich back in for Munster as well. Connor Manis into the game. See where Munster goes here. Schlotman, Stoyich. Stoyich goes through the lane. A whistle to foul on Hayden. Stoyich is going to get free throws. With the clock stopped, only 49 seconds left, but you can cut this to two. That's four on Kelston Hayden. It's Friday night. How about some more basketball after this one? What I do you think? I have nowhere to go. I don't want to see this end. This is too much fun tonight. Two shots for Adam Estoyachi misses. Boy, they're just not shooting it well from the free throw line. No, that's going to be the difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight misses so far tonight. Sure two of those were the front end of one and one that I remember. Yep. But this one turns it into a one possession game. He needs to get it. It's up. And he is unable to do so. Rebound Anthony Murphy of Griffith. Out to Harris. Up the floor to Quintero. Quintero with the dribble gets by a man, but we've got a whistle and a foul. That's an interesting foul call. The official right in front of the play along the sideline didn't blow his whistle. And the lead official on the other side of the basket along the baseline on the opposite side of the floor called that foul. That's going to send Quintero to the line. It's on Drew Hackett, his first. Two shots for Anthony Quintero. Four-point game with 42.5 to go. First one, no. Man is back in. Mandich back in for the Mustang. Mosley set to enter for Quintero. Look for Munster to push it here because Griffith's been jumping into this pressure and they've they're all in the front court. Quintero gets the second. If Griffin can get a quick or Munster can get a quick screen. Look over the top of this. They've had numbers over the top. 58-53. Griffith, 42.5 to play. Drew Hackett up the sideline and Aiden. No, Hackett stepped, stepped out of bounds. Wow, he got bumped pretty good over there. Kelson Hayden initiated some contact and they call it on Drew Hackett stepped out of bounds. Quintero back in as Mosley back out. The offense-defense switch continues. Luke Pillarella into the game for the first time for Munster. Pass comes in. And Pillarella picks up the foul. Probably a good foul. Not much time off the clock. You're down two possessions. Jamal Murphy to the line. He's going to shoot a couple. Griffith, 37.5 left in overtime. First free throw by Murphy, good. Shooter's roll there, that caught the front rim, the side rim, the backboard, and then dropped in. And this is a big free throw, because at six points right now, it turns it into a three possession game if he knocks this down. 37.5 in overtime, free throw up, good. Seven point lead to Griffith. Still in the full court pressure and denial. Full man denial. Making Munster work really hard to get the ball up court. And Drew Hackett's going to pull up. His three blocked from behind by Murphy. Here we go. They got a couple guys squaring up. A little chest bumping down in the corner. Good. Gary Hayes wants a timeout right here, and that's a good timeout. Yeah, he needs to settle his guys down just to make sure nothing stupid happens here in this last 32 seconds. And Anthony Harris just keeps staying in the ear of Drew Hackett. Timeout. Yeah, and then again, these officials have let that go all night, so they kind of reap what you sow. Every whistle here in the second half, they've been gone. They've been in Drew Hackett's ear especially. Full time. 
even at free throws, they've been standing next to Mike Hackett when he tries to talk to his son, too. Full time out for the Panthers with 32.9 seconds to play. The basketball will belong to Munster after this timeout. 60 53, Panthers over the Mustangs. We watched the game last night where Division II Lewis was down seven with 31 seconds and won the game in regulation. So. It Less than happen. 24 hours ago, I've seen this happen. It didn't happen. And that was the team on the road that came back from behind, too. I said last night, it's the best comeback I've ever seen, but you never know. See what Munster has in the bag of tricks right now. Definitely not over yet. No, there's still time. But it's getting close. Yeah, it's getting there. It's and a they, huge possession right here. They have to yeah. score some points right here. And hope that Griffiths misses some free throws going down the stretch. Yeah, even if it's two and you maybe get a steal. Spaced out four shooters. Who's throwing it in? Is that a Stoyich? Look for him to maybe get it after he, after he throws it in. It is a Stoyich. As Kona is into the game. You got Drew Hackett farthest from the ball. He may just double down and Drew come over the top of it. Comes in, Schlotman wants a three from the right corner, misses everything, ball rolls out to Drew Hackett. Top of the key three, that's no good. Wow. Goes out of bounds, it belongs to, we're gonna get a couple officials confer, it's gonna go to Griffith. Wow, that's Kona for uh, Griffith, got away with a flat out hold, pull, yank to the ground on that rebound. And all the Munster fans are saw it again. Too. Connor Manis and Kelston Hayden. Chest bumping here. And the fact that the fan, that the official is talking to Manis is getting the Munster fans a little riled up. Quintero and a foul on Schlotman before it even comes in. For Schlotman, that's his first. We'll walk down to the other end for three throws. Yeah, the one thing you really don't want to see here is to see this get chippy in these last 30 seconds. Too late for that. Yeah, I guess there's degrees of chippiness. Yeah, you don't want to see it escalate, yeah. that's for sure. They've still got too much season left Anthony for this Harris to escalate. Both teams do. Anthony Harris at the line to shoot two for Griffith. First free throw is up, and it is no good. good. You know, Munster got a decent look that last out of bounds. They didn't get their first look, though, and that threw them out of, out of whack a little bit. Slavin had to throw up that corner three under duress. Harris gets one more. Up and good. 61-53, Griffith. 24 seconds left. Here's Schlotman. Pull up. Three. Short. Got a foul on Connor Manis, pushing from behind. After the shot, that's five on Manis. We'll walk down to the other end. Pillarella going to come back in. Calston Hayden going to go to the line. He'll shoot two. Be interesting to see the final stats and see what Munster shot in three point range. A lot of it had to do with the length of Griffith running them off the line and deflecting. They probably blocked four three-pointers so far tonight. <laughs> Justin Hayden misses the first. Why this? I love why, that. Why, yeah. when one student section gives the other school a hard time and they know they're going to lose, the, the side that's losing wants to play a different sport. Right. <laughs> that, they, get, they get that in the handbook, don't they, the first day of school? <laughs> I think so. Hayden, second one. Misses everything. So he misses both with 18.3. Munster basketball. Griffith lead by eight. You know, us, Highland, us Highland guys came in here two years ago and got a win in basketball in our student section channel that afternoon. It was the first time in 15 years, so I suppose you give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Mandich. Astoyich lost the handle on it, got it back, gives it up. Schlotman wants a three from the right wing. It's in and out. Ball tapped around. 
three ball by Astoyich. That's off the iron, no good. Harris with the board. And a foul by Mandich with 3.7. Story of the night. Two good looks and rimmed out for Munster there. Fourth foul on Mandich. We're going to walk to the other end. Harris is going to shoot two. And the string of 46 straight in conference play by Munster will come to an end tonight here at Griffith. That's an amazing run. I mean, I've coached against Coach Hackett here the last seven years, and or this is the seventh season for me. And to think of 46 straight conference wins is pretty incredible. Take your hat off to Coach Hackett and this program. These kids worked real hard. They didn't get it by mistake. No, they sure did. Harris misses the first. He'll get, get one more. Second one by Harris is up, and that one is good. It's thrown in. Drew Hackett with a couple dribbles. Brings it across the half-court line. Doesn't even shoot. The student section storms the floor. And in overtime, Griffith knocks off Munster tonight, 62 to 53. Amazing win for Griffith. Especially after everything they went through the last two two games with East Chicago and losing that Andrean last week. Griffith, how about you said it a little bit earlier, controlling the overtime, outscoring Munster 11 to 2 in that extra four minutes. And for Munster, they got what they wanted. Griffith was missing a lot of free throws in that final minute. They just did not get a shot to fall. No, well, they didn't get shots. They were they really pressured full court. Griffith came out full court that whole overtime and really made it hard for Munster to even inbound the ball at times, the full length of the court. And then they were just at a different pace than they'd be comfortable with when they're, when they're shooting the ball. They even had a few turnovers. I mean, the, the defense carried the day for Griffith today, I thought. So 62-53, Griffith beats Munster. The Mustangs fall to 4-1 and one in the league. The Griffith Panthers improve to 4-1 and one in the league. Griffith now 13-3, and three. Munster 11-8. and eight. The postgame right here at Griffith coming next. You're listening to High School Basketball right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW Crown Point and WRTK Paxton, Illinois. 